Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on how to convert a decimal number to a floating point I triple seven five four standard in single precision. So before we go into the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on and hit that like button. And if you have any doubts, please comment down below. I'll respond within twenty four hours. And let's go into the topic. So as you can see over here, one. 05.625 is a real number. To represent this real number in computers, we are using IEEE 754 standards, which is included in all Intel PCs, Macintosh, and all other Unix platforms. So IEEE has defined two types for 754 standard, which were released in 1985. So one is single precision, which is of 32 bits and another is double which is of 64 bits data type float is an example for single precision which is used in C language and data type double is an example for double precision which is used in C language so in this video I'm gonna talk about single precision the format for single precision is as shown it is of 32 bits and the MSB bit represents sign and the next 8 bits represent exponent and the next 23 bits represent mantissa. So in sign bit the value will be 0 or 1. 0 indicates a positive number and 1 indicates a negative number. So now let us look how to convert it rather than going into the exponent and mantissa. So to convert a real number into 754 standard, we have four steps for it. The first step is to convert the decimal number into binary form. So this is our real number. Now we need to convert this real number into a binary value. To do that, you can either do it by dividing it by 2 and getting the values of the remainder from bottom to top. And after point we need to multiply it by 2 and take the values from top to bottom. The binary value of 105.625 is as shown. So that is the first step and the second step is to normalize this value. To normalize the floating point we need to move the point just after the first MSB bit. So as you can see in this examples only one of them is normalized. So let us normalize our binary value. So we need to move this point from here to here and the values in between are 6 so our normalized value will be as such 1.10100111 into 2 power 6 okay you might be wondering what is this equation so this is 754 standard equation we need to represent our value in this form. So as you can see over here we have s which represents the sign of the number and we need to represent our binary value in this terms 1 point mantissa or fraction into 2 power e minus bias. So by normalizing we are getting our value in this form that is 1 point m this is the mantissa and this is E minus bias. So why are we using bias? As we know that exponents are sign values, to represent the sign values we use two's complement. But the problem with the two's complement is that we need to add an extra MSB bit to represent the sign. So our small numbers are appearing large. So to solve this problem we are using bias. So the bias will be decided by the number of bits the exponent has. 
Here the exponent has 8 bits so the bias will be calculated as 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. So 2 power n minus 1 is 2 power 7 minus 1 that is 128 minus 1 it is 127. So as you can see if exponent is minus 6 we are getting the value as 121 because we are adding bias and this 121 is stored inside the field. And if exponent is minus 8 we are adding again 127 that is 119 will be the stored value and similarly if exponent is 0 we are storing 127 and if exponent is 5 we are storing 132. And the third step is to represent the exponent. So we got our value mantissa and sine we need to calculate the exponent from this value. Since we got e minus bias as 6 we need to calculate the exponent and we know our bias is 127 substitute 127 over here and the exponent is 133. Now we need to represent this exponent in binary value. To do the conversion either you can go in the manual method or you can use calculator. So all we need to do is to turn on and next step is to go in mode and press 4 that is for base in and then type in your number that is 1 3 and 3 and press equal button so we got 133 in decimal we needed binary press this button that is log over here and there you go you got the value so exponent is as such so we got our sine, mandisa and exponent. And the fourth step is to arrange the fields. So the sine value is 0, exponent value is as such and mandisa value is as such. But mandisa over here is small so the remaining bits will be filled up with 0. So for better understanding let us take another example uh, this time a negative number and solve it. So the number is minus 0 0.750. To convert into binary multiply it by 2 and take the values. So the binary value over here is 1 1 and 0. So the first step is completed. We have converted into the binary form and now we need to normalize it. To do that we need to shift this point after the first one. So normalization is also complete. Now we need to find the exponent. So to get the exponent we will compare both of them. So m is 1 0 0 and exponent minus bias is minus 1. So we are adding 127 to minus 1 we are getting 126 and convert into the binary and it will be 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0. So substitute this value mandisa that is 1 0 0 exponent this value and sine. What is the sine value? Sine value is 1 over here. So the fourth step is arrange them and the sine bit is 1, exponent is value is above and mandisa. The remaining bits which are not shown over here are filled with 0. This is how we convert a real number in IEEE 754 single precision standard using four steps. So to summarize we have four steps. The first step is to convert into binary second step is to normalize, third step is to represent the exponent and fourth step is to arrange them in feed. Thanks for watching, hope you are a great day and have no fear. Fear is sin according to Swami Vivekananda. So have no fear and be brave. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on